Before, Acorns had an investment platform for those wanting to invest any amount, large or small. They had programs designed to help anyone invest without really even having to think about it once it was set up. And now, they have The Rock and his Mighty Oak card. So is this the same old Acorns or have they really changed things up with this new partnership? Let's take a look at all the nuts under the tree and find out. So at its heart, Acorns is an investment platform. They've added some different things with this new partnership, but overall it's an investment platform. Now the advertising and focus for Acorns originally was for people who were wanting to invest, but maybe they didn't feel like they had the knowledge or they didn't have the resources to actually invest in a significant way. This platform was originally designed to help people to invest even in small amounts to add up to something that would be significant over time. There are a few things that are a little bit confusing about the accounts that they have and how they're set up and how they relate to each other. I'm gonna do my best to go through and explain this in a way that makes a lot of sense, but I've got my work cut out for me. The first thing to note is that there are three different accounts that you can sign up for. The first is Acorns Personal, the second is Acorns Personal Plus, and the third is Acorns Premium. Now each one has its own fee, but there's actually a way to waiver the fee for two of these accounts with certain conditions, and we'll get into that in a little bit. The first thing that's consistent across all of these platforms is the basic investing platform. Now there are a few different ways that you can put money into this account. The one that they're known for, I think more than most, is what's called Roundups. Now with Roundups, you can link any credit card and any checking account to your investing account. Now let's say that you went to Starbucks and you purchased a coffee for $8.25. Now with Roundups, what would happen is that $8.25 would be rounded up to $9 and that extra 75 cents would go into your investing account. Now they do have multipliers on these roundups where if you were to multiply it by two times, then it would put $1.50 into the investing account and you can go all the way up to 10 times on the multiplier. So for this purchase, it would be $7.50 that would go into your investing account. Now, if you also have an Acorns checking account, this investment will transfer from your checking account into your investment account immediately. Now, if you have an outside checking account, then it would actually Actually wait until you built up about $5 and then transfer that money over into your investing account at that point. You can set up recurring deposits as well to go into your account. So if you wanted to set it up on maybe one week or every month that you put a certain amount into your investing account, that can be set up to transfer automatically. Now with all three accounts, you have what Acorns calls later, which is basically an investment account for retirement, like an IRA account. So you can also set up a retirement account that has certain tax advantages. With the Acorns personal account, you also get a banking account. Now this is the account that if you have it funded, it will automatically move the roundups into your investment account. So so if you want the money to work for you immediately upon your purchase with your roundups, then you'll want to set up this checking account so that that money can transfer right away and get to work for you. Now with this account, they also have 55,000 fee-free ATMs that you can use nationwide and around the world. And you also get a debit card with this account as well. They also partner with other brands so that you can earn bonus investments that will go directly into your investment account. So you can shop with these vendors. They also have an extension that you can shop through that as you're doing your purchases, it will put a bonus investment into your investment account. Now here's where it gets interesting and confusing all at the same time. Now the Acorns Personal Plus plan is $5 a month. Now this is the plan where you get the Rocks Mighty Oak card and some pretty good benefits that come along with the checking account. Now as for the investing account, it's basically everything you get in the personal plan, so no need to go over that again. Now when we get to the checking account, we see that they have a 3% APY on their checking account. If you compare this with most banks, that is a very good rate for a checking account. In fact, some of the banks with really good rates still fall far short of this one, such as Ally Bank with a 0.2 5% and SoFi with a 0.5%. So this 3% is really good when you compare it with other banks. There is, however, one company that offers a cash account with a slightly better rate than this, and that's Wealthfront with their 5%. Now that 3% is on their checking account, but they also have a 5% APY on what they call their emergency fund, which sounds like a high yield savings account. The savings account APY is actually a little bit better than Ally and SoFi as well. Ally is coming in at 4.35 and SoFi is coming in at 4.6. Now you also get the limited edition Tungsten Metal Mighty Oak Debit Visa Card. All of those features seem to be brought to you by The Rock, so I really feel like the partnership from that perspective is really a good partnership to present these services because they're a really good offering for customers that are looking to get a high percentage rate on their checking and savings account. Really a good deal. So now here's where it gets a little confusing. Not sure why they did this, but Acorns personal account is with one bank and the Acorns personal plus and the Acorns premium is with a different bank. So if you have an Acorns personal account and you wanna transfer that into an Acorns personal plus or premium, 
you have to cancel your account to transfer the money over into the other account, which also means you can't get the same checking and savings APY in the personal account that you can in the personal plus and the premium. So if you're a current customer and you want the 3% APY on checking and 5% APY on savings, you would have to close your account to transfer into the other account. You can't automatically qualify for the new debit card. You have to close your account and open a new account. Not sure why that's the case. Maybe they have a contract for a certain amount of time and they couldn't transfer everything over, but just really confusing if you want that rate and you're a current member uh, that you have to close an account to reopen it to get those rates. So that's the big change with the personal plus. Now let's go into the premium account. And Acorn's premium membership is $9. One thing that's not $9, hitting that like button down below. That's free. That helps this video get out to more people who are looking for solutions for their finances. So hit that like button down below, share the information, and with that, we'll get back into it. Now, the premium account, just like the Personal Plus account, if you have a $250 direct deposit set up with the account, then your fee is waived, and you don't pay the $5 or the $9, depending on the account that you have. You don't pay that. So it's actually a free account if you have direct deposit set up and you get more than $250 each month. Now, with this account, they do add a few extra features in their investing platform. So let's look at those. One of the new additions is an early account. Now, this is a way that you can set up a potentially tax-advantaged account for your kids with what's called a uniform transfer or a uniform gift. Unlike a 529, which is specifically for education, this is for things that will benefit them in a more broad way. So it doesn't have to be just education. It can be other things that benefit them. So there's more flexibility with this account as opposed to just education. Now, you can also set up recurring deposits for this account, and you can also send invitations to family members or friends that may want to contribute to the account as well. Another feature they have on this account is GoHenry, which is banking for kids. They have a debit card and learning app made just for kids to teach them how to handle money and just some of the principles behind it. They can choose their own card design. They have 45 plus to choose from. They also have a chores tracker with an automated allowance feature and they have parental controls with real-time spending notifications. And they do have a couple of extra benefits for members. Uh, for those that are eligible, they have a $10,000 life insurance policy and then also a no-cost will for those who are planning their family's future and trying to get things in order there. Now, I know if you have the name Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, you're going to get a lot of eyes. It's going to draw a lot of attention. But I do think in this case with the Mighty Oak Banking and the Mighty Oak Card, 5% uh, APY on savings account, this 3% APY on checking account, all of those things combined with the investment platform and the benefit that that provides and with the premium account and the benefits there for children with the waiver for the fee if you have direct deposit. When you combine all those things, it's a really good offer without a lot of downside to it. In fact, I can only think of a few banks that might compete with that. For a review on one of those banks, click the video here. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.